on today, so thank you for joining me for my journey. So I want to apologize for the quality of this video. I know it's going to be a little bit diminished because I'm using my front facing camera, which is only 8 megapixels, and my, compared to my back facing camera, which is 16 megapixels. And so let's get into it. So yesterday I spent 16 hours at the hospital. I ended up waking up at 4 in the morning and I was in an immense amount of pain and I waited like an hour, tried to get meds in me and everything. Nothing was working so I had to go to the hospital. I made it there about 5.30 and they helped me with my pain and my nausea and stuff. But then I found out that the morphine they gave me would mess up the test that they were going to give me for my gallbladder. So I had to wait another four hours until noon until I could get back again for the test. The test was a horrible test because I was laying on top of a table for an hour and a half while they injected fatty foods into my veins to help my gallbladder freak out. And they were freaking, uh, they put a radioactive material inside of me that was supposed to go to my bile so they could see the function of my gallbladder, which I think is really weird, but the test took, I had to lay on a table for an hour and a half, not being able to move, not being able to do anything, just so they can watch all the little radioactive materials go through my whole body until one big bulb glowed and you could see my gallbladder perfectly. And then they, the test was done. I was in an immense amount of pain, bent over, couldn't do anything, couldn't think. And I had to wait another half an hour to 45 minutes because they wanted to make sure that the test was conclusive before they gave me medications. And the surgeon was already in surgery. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And then the surgeon finally doesn't come out. He sends his assistant out which I really wanted to talk to the surgeon, which I don't understand why he didn't come and talk to me still. They didn't explain to me what was going on with me at all. I still am in awe is that I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just in pain. So after I talked to the ER doc, or the surgery nurse, surgery's assistant, it ends up being that they can't give me any medication. They don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just having a lot of pain. I don't know what to do. So I ask them, like, can you prescribe me something for the pain so I can get time, you know, without pain to find a doctor that can help me? And they said, no, we don't give you medication because we only give medication to people that go on surgery. And I'm like, okay, I've already been to the ER. I've already seen several doctors today. I've been at this hospital forever. I've been waiting forever. Kat's been waiting forever on me too. Like, I feel bad for her a lot. So pretty much what they tell me is, just go back through the ER, recheck yourself into the hospital so you can try to get medication. So we have to walk through all the hospital, or all through the hospital, and end up having to recheck myself in. And after this, it got okay. You know, the doctor came in. He's like, "Yes, I've talked to your the doctor that checked you in this morning at 4 a.m. He told me everything that's going on. Yes, I can help you out. Do you want some oxycodone for right now? Because you look like you're in a lot of pain." and I'll send you home with a script for nausea and some more oxycodone. And I said, okay, thank you so much, because it's really hard to deal with this much pain and try to get a doctor and not trying to make cat miss work or anything. So we got that to deal with. So I finally get home, get some medication in me, and I feel a lot better, especially today. But I know it's still there. I can still feel it. It's just not as intense. But that's what I've been dealing with for this last couple of days, and it's been making it very hard for me to film and get out there. But maybe I can just sit down and do videos like this for now, a little bit, until I can figure out if I need different types of surgery or different things done with my body. So, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you guys will still help support my channel and the people that are with it. Because you guys are a great community, and you guys help me a lot. I really enjoy putting videos on YouTube, and you guys are out there to tell me things and help me figure out what's going on and it just makes me feel better you know so I want to thank you guys please like and subscribe and follow me for different videos I'm on Twitter at darkerral420 thank you